got uh, lots of questions for you about uh, lots of topics, but I uh, always try to throw this out there uh, before we move on from So Done uh, and, and the Cove series. Um, I've always want the show to be, I, or when, I, when, I, when I started the show, I thought, well, wouldn't it be great if this was the type of show that if I were being interviewed, I would want to be on? And so my laziest question is the question I would most want for myself, uh, which is, what is a question that you haven't been asked about the Co series that you would love it if some somebody more insightful than me had asked uh, and, and that uh, you could share information that you want to share about the series? Uh, yeah, that's the question. No question. Free spot. Okay. Um, I don't know if I have a question that I want to be asked, but I do. This want... is awkward. I will edit this part out. No, up to you. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's tough, right? Because like you don't know what you don't you don't know what you don't don't know. But I, you know what I do? I do know that I I want people to um, approach this book knowing that my books aren't, like I've, I've been hearing a lot of people say, um, authors need to just shut up and write, you know, don't get political or, or you'll see people unfollowed on Twitter because an author said something. Um, and my books are my politics in that, you know, I want people to see these readers and I mean, see these characters and hopefully if you're an educator, if you're a librarian, if you're a parent, that if you know some children who are like um, Tay or Mila or Raleigh or Simp, that you just walk away feeling more empathy than maybe you did before. And that you can recognize um, you know, a black child on the street and rather than be intimidated by their, by their locks um, you know, or, or their hoodie, you know, that you just, you think. That's what I want these type of books to do. So by that logic, the ideal reader we, we went back to um, is the police. Read these books, police <laughs> officers, <laughs> learn empathy. <laughs> uh, I shouldn't laugh if I have to, because I'll cry otherwise. Okay, <laughs> moving on. Well, you know what, you mentioned politics. Let's, while we're here, um, I noticed you, you, you've got a, you, you spend some quality time on Twitter. Um, you're, you're familiar with social media and you do get uh, openly political um, on some, not, not nonstop. That's, that's not all it is, but there, but there's some politics on there, mine too. Um, how, how do you manage that? Do you, do you ever worry that some of that might be going too far? Do you ever listen, not to just shut up, but like, hey, at the end of the day, am I reaching anybody? Um, I always think that if you, you know, if what can I say that Donald Trump hasn't already said that should convince you he's terrible? <laughs> if he hasn't convinced you of that, what is the middle grade, what difference is the middle grade ninja going to make at, the, at this point? Um, so what, uh, what advice would you have for writers in being political openly? Um, yeah. You know, I, I always try to just be me on Twitter and what that means for me is I want to always engage positively. So when I'm angry about something, if I put something on my timeline, then I must really be angry about it because I don't, you know, I always, I always want to be real, but I also know that it's hard to engage when you only have however many characters they're allowing us these days. Is it 260? Um, <laughs> I can't keep track, but you know, it's, it's hard to have, um, it's hard to have a true conversation that way. So I'm mindful of that. And, but if I put it on my timeline, I usually will stand behind it. I usually will stand behind it. And so that's my advice. If, as long as you stand behind it, then say it. I, I, the, the people who, well, I'm going to, you know, kind of delete that tweet or, why? I mean, it, it, just think before you put it on. That's all. And so there are some things that I probably would never put on my TL because I don't, I know that I can't explain it in a tweet if someone were to, you know, call me on it. So usually if I put it on there, I don't mind standing behind it. 
something that uh, occurred to me is in, in your book, you've got these um, uh, for fun uh, social media sites that you reference. I think it's uh, Friendly or Friend Me. I don't Friendly. Which, <laughs> friend me. Um, is that just kind of your alternate? Word? Why? Because everything else in the book is pretty, pretty consistent. I expect that if there's a Ben Diesel movie in this universe, that, that exists <laughs> in that universe also. Why the, uh, why the divergence with the social media sites? Because, you know, I've tried to give the publisher that opportunity so that it's not too much material in there that'll date it. And so that, that's, that's just a way to keep it slightly evergreen. You know, I mean, even with slang, which is why, why I made the point earlier, you know, of course, slang changes. But I tend to use the same slang with my characters because it's not so much what they're saying, it's the fact that, you know, they're, they're, they're just talking relaxed. So I don't worry about, do people still say this word? And that's how I try to do it with the social media to avoid the, you know, 10 years from now when people are like, what's Twitter now? I don't know that, that they're going to say that, because, but we know how fast social media. Well, no, they'll have been move. reading about it in their history books. This is what ended right. in the United States. Oh, interesting. <laughs> <laughs> but but I, I, did, I did do that on purpose just to, to try to keep it somewhat evergreen so we wouldn't have to worry about later editions, you know, because I want my books to live as long as possible. And so, you know, I don't want them to worry about it and say, oh, look, you referenced MySpace and that doesn't exist anymore. Nobody uses it. So that was my way of sort of playing with it. That is a brilliant tip and I'm going to steal it going forward. <laughs> that is smart. I like it.